Do nothing to you. I stand out my free heart, man. Come on. Yo, guys, what's up? It's Hello, and welcome to Hello, Neighbor. Hello, Neighbor. How are you guys doing? I'm doing jello as far usual. And today I thought we'd try out this fun little game because it looks like fun. It is currently still in alpha. Um, I actually am using the pre-alpha version, which hopefully isn't too bad. I know that there's an alpha out now that you can buy that has more stuff in it, but since I have this one, I figured I'd just play it and try it. But basically, this is a procedural horror game with a an AI that learns from what you do. And the premise of this game is that your neighbor over there in the big fancy house, he's got a, a secret in his basement and you, you want to find out what he's doing down there. And so your goal is to sneak into his house and not get caught by him. If he catches you, he will probably kill you. And nobody likes death. But since it's Halloween, or nearby Halloween, close to Halloween, I figured that, you know, what, what more fun could we have than a murderous neighbor? So, I have not played any of this. I'm gonna, I only know the basic controls. I'm gonna pick up this frying pan. Can I? I don't, I didn't want to throw the frying pan. <laughs> I wanted to pick it up. But I am going to go forth into the neighbor's house with this frying pan and I, I gotta admit I'm not a fan of horror games and I don't know how scary this is gonna be, I hope not very, but I'm gonna beat the neighbor with a frying pan. Okay? Okay. Oh no. How do I, how do I do anything? What do I do? I don't understand. They don't laugh at each other because they're dummy brothers. They laugh at you because you know they're really dumb. Okay, I'm gonna be a dummy then. I'm gonna walk around. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ. Hello, neighbor! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So that was the neighbor. Hello, neighbor. Good God. back. Oh. Okay. So he gave me my frying pan back. That's fantastic. Can I just, can I keep it now? Did he give me my hat? Oh, he gave me my hat back too. Good. Oh, I really just want my, my frying pan. That's all I really care about. Can I have it? Is this a different, I feel like this is a different frying pan. I don't feel like this is, oh no, this is the same frying pan. This is mine. So, if I trigger his trap, then I'm dead. Huh. Who would have thought? Um, or maybe that was just stupid and I shouldn't have hung around the front room when he was right there. Um. Oh, 
Okay. Um. Okay, new plan of attack. So if I take this chair and I'm just gonna heck with the neighbor now. I'm gonna have some fun. <laughs> oh, I didn't break it. set up in the front window. Um. Oh, now he's boarded up the basement. Oh, I see how it is, Mr. Neighbor. You put a board over the basement now. <laughs> By the time I get there, there's going to be a million things that I'm not going to be able to do. Okay. So, I can't just go in there, and I can't get in through the front door now because he's got a window set up. I can go through the window, I guess. And he gave me back my chair. Oh, there's my frying pan. That's all I really want in life is my frying pan. Can I have that? Um. Okay, so how can I get in there without him seeing me? I don't know. I don't feel like I can. I don't feel like that's a possibility. I feel like if I trigger his bear trap that he's just gonna come out and get me but can I go through the w if I go through the window I feel like it should be a lot easier than it is if I just rush the window will he oh there he is I see him I see you Mr. Neighbor I see you okay let's try this again um <laughs> Unfortunately. Why does that always land right right side up? That's, that's a little bit weird. I th Oh. Okay. If I stab him with a broom, will it work? Does that count for something? 
count for something if I stab him with a broom. Can I stab him with a broom? Okay, where's his... Okay, so he's got to the base of the bear trap. Hmm. Okay. I kind of just want to throw things at him. Hey, look, I think of trash. shouldn't try and get in through the window. What would happen if I just march right through the front door? Don't probably come after me, right? Hmm. Probably. I assume so. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna walk in the front door. Hey, neighbor! Can I borrow some sugar? Ow. Really? Hi! But I was just standing there. And you took my frying pan again. Please give me my frying pan. I need to hit you with it. So he's learning. I see you, Mr. Neighbor. I do. I... Can I open your door? Hmm. Okay, so he locked his front door. Smart man, smart man. Um. I don't think he's learned that... I can get through his window, though. Okay. Okay. Wait, if I break that window, that won't work because he'll come after me because he'll be right there watching TV. Hmm. Okay. What if I break the window right next to his front door? What if I do that? Neighbor. Oh, Jesus. Damn it, neighbor! Damn it! I was so close. Your basement! I need to know what's inside it. Please. If you just let me come over and borrow a cup of sugar and see what murderous trap you have in your basement, that would be fantastic. And we could all go home and live happily ever after. And I promise I wouldn't tell a soul that you're a mass murderer living across the street from me and that you have something bad in your basement. <laughs> Honestly, I promise. I, I promise. Can I just see what's in your basement, dude? Please. I just, I mean, okay, okay. New, new strategy. If you don't want to borrow, if you don't want me to borrow a cup of sugar from you, can I borrow an egg to put in my frying pan? And then maybe, maybe, you know, it'll all be okay. It'll all be okay. I mean, that's how this neighborly thing works, right? Can I have this radio? Can I turn it on? Can I turn on the radio? Can I turn it on? I can't turn on the radio, but I can turn on the TV. Hmm. How am I gonna get it? What? Excuse me, moi. I'm just hanging out here in my house, and you come out and chase me. Rude. Goodbye. Bye. I didn't do nothing to you. I was just standing out in my front yard, man. Come on. Come on. Don't be so mean to me, Mr. Neighbor. I just wanted an egg. That's a bear trap. That's mean. Aw. He's so mean to me. I just wanted an egg. And now I can't come out of my house because if I come out of my house, then he's gonna throw bear traps at me. Excuse me. Stop throwing bear traps.
hands at me! You're so mean! Mr. Neighbor! Mr. Neighbor! Okay, so this game has given me nothing but trouble after Mr. Neighbor glitched his face out and decided that he was gonna, I don't know, throw bear traps at me from the window and not stop playing with the horrible chase music. Uh, I actually had to restart the whole game and redo the little beginning tutorial thing that they have because uh, as it happens every time you restart this one is it just like it resets everything and I, I think Mr. Neighbor is a little glitchy. I, I think I might have to go for the, the actual like alpha that they released and hope that that one's a little bit better if I want to play this anymore. <laughs> I think that one has more stuff too. This one doesn't have a lot of stuff in it. Like that one has like a second story and all this like neat stuff. But I want to give at least one more try to see if I can distract Mr. Neighbor long enough. And and I actually I thought I thought about this a good long while while I was trying to make Mr. Neighbor um, uh, start up again because because Hello Neighbor it didn't want to start up. It just wanted to not do that. Um, it was, it was giving me a lot of trouble. So we're gonna we're gonna try something. I wanna try something. I wanna see if if your goal is to distract this guy, what I wanna do is I, I don't know if I can do this. If I think about it, I don't know if I can because his front door is locked. So you know what? Actually can I pick up two items? I can pick up two items. Let me pick up this vase, and then can I switch between the items? No, so I'm gonna have to put that down. Okay, let's pick up a vase, and then, oh, no, let's let's pick up the vase again, and then let's pick up the TV. Okay, what I wanna do is, my goal here is, can I actually get in this car and drive it? Because if I could drive the car into like, the front yard, that would be fantastic, <laughs> but I don't think that works yet. Uh, what I wanna do with what I have is my plan is to see if I can't run around the side of his house and turn this TV on. And if I can turn the TV on so that it makes noise, he'll come after it. A and then I want to run up to his front door, break his front window and run in. And he's probably gonna get me, but <laughs> I, I don't know if I'll have enough time to do that because the TV's not gonna distract him for very long. And he moves really fast, but we're gonna, we're gonna see if if this is a thing that I can do. So let's... Okay. Come, Mr. Neighbor. Can I do it? I don't think I can do it. Oh, I can't get over that. Okay, so I have to jump. Let me jump. Let me crouch. Oh, there's a bunch of junk back here. Okay. Um. Oh, no, gotta pick that up. Come on, Mr. Neighbor. Crap. Oh, I can't get through the window. Uh oh, I can't get in. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so you can't actually get in the basement. Um. Hmm. That's a problem. At least. It doesn't look like you can get in the basement. Shoot! <laughs> I don't know if the pre-alpha actually lets you get in the basement. I know in the, like the alpha, you can get into the basement, like, but it'll stop, like in a cutscene. But I don't know if the pre-alpha actually lets you do that. It didn't actually say. Okay, well, hey. It worked! It worked! I sort of temporarily outsmarted the neighbor. I win! Kind of. <laughs> ah. 
I mean, I don't know if you can actually do that. It's interesting. It didn't say in the description of the, when you, like, it didn't say if you could actually get in the basement. That's, that's something I'm just now realizing. But now I know. That actually works. Fantastic. Okay. So, I don't know if I can actually get in the basement because I can't click on it. Which means that it may not actually let me do it. But we'll just, I think, I think I tried. I distracted him. And my only goal now would be to be a really bad neighbor and just continue to try and break into his house. Um, but I think that I won't do that because, because that's, I mean, come on, how many times can I make the neighbor glitch out and do stuff? Um, and this house doesn't even have a second floor, but I need to play the actual alpha because that has more stuff in it. So, I think if I do more videos on this, I'll do it in the actual alpha that you have to, like, you have to buy so that I can have more stuff to play with because this is fun! Like, it's legitimately <laughs> kind of scary. I mean, <laughs> he, I, I went through the tutorial thing again and he got me again and I was expecting it. <laughs> but I think for now that that is all I have time for today so I hope you guys enjoyed this little kind of first look at Hello Neighbor and I'm really excited to see where this game goes because I want a full-on game with a really smart AI that learns from what I do and tells me that I'm an idiot because I try to repeat the same patterns over and over again and that's the cool part so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see y'all next time. Jello out! They told me to puke on the cat, okay? <laughs> so not my fault.